So today we're um, going to determine why this uh, GX390 Honda, this is a 13 horse Honda that we just rebuilt, and uh, it has the auto choke feature on it, which is an entire module that's powered by um, vacuum. So there's a there's a manifold in between the carburetor and the engine block. There's this uh, this insulator plate with a vacuum hose that comes off of it. And this goes into this diaphragm here that operates this auto choke. And so the choke, when the engine is not running, the choke is on. It's supposed to be on anyway. And uh, the gentleman claims that the auto choke has never worked. They've always had to come down and man, get off the seat of the machine. It's actually a stand-up machine. It's a barn boss. But he says he has to manually operate the choke lever, pull this out all the way. For the choke to close and uh, when it starts i guess then he's coming down and putting it off of choke now if you look in there now right now it's the choke supposed to be on it's, if it's an auto choke and the auto choke's supposed to close it when the engine's not running it's not not choking it right now now i'll talk about this this unusual piece here in a minute but first we're going to determine why um if, if the choke is the reason it's not starting, we're gonna fire it up on the test bench here. Not try, not try to shake it around too much. So we got gas in the test stand. This is my test stand here. This is our test stand. So we got at least 10 ounces of gas in there. And then we got the jump it kit. So we're gonna start it and see See if it starts. And if it, it starts manually like he's been starting it, then we're gonna mess with that auto choke. But I think that's the reason it's not starting. Maybe the auto choke is still not working. I'm gonna crank the heat. Make sure that the red and the black wire are stuck together. Yeah. So this is, I mean, the wires are together, so it should have sparks. I'm gonna pull this on. I'm gonna put the choke on manually, and then crank it again. Okay, so I think that the auto choke is not ch uh, choking properly because I can manually choke it. It's starting. So the rebuild was successful. It runs really well. So we're going to take this off a little bit and we're going to change. We're going to change the auto choke module and we'll see if that's if we can make it choke properly you know choke choke like it does with you when you operate the lever on here if, it, if we can make the auto choke do that then i think it will start properly so we'll take this vacuum right off of here 
Might have to bring you closer here. Might. We'll see. I'll put you over here. Like that. So we've got a different artichoke module here. This is a new aftermarket one. It looks very similar to the original. Uh, but the original one is from wherever Honda makes their engines. This one is obviously from, it says made in China on it. The brand on it is Moto. If this is what's wrong with yours, I can put a link in the description of where I got this. It's pretty, pretty reasonable compared to my new AM. So here as you can see, it's a vacuum line. And if you pull back on it, you can see it, it operates the choke. If you pull back on it with your mouth, it's operating the choke. That's how it works. So the choke is on by default, and then when the engine is generating vacuum, it's retracting it's retracting it and bringing it out of the choke mode. So I'm going to take this guy off of here. <clears throat> so during the modifications, during the modifications of the engine, um, for using this adapter, because we're going to put in a different air cleaner, um, the studs became too short here because of the auto choke module. The studs became too too short. So we had to cut them and extend them. Because we also still have to put a gasket in the cleaner. So we gotta put this on. I'm gonna put my head light. So we gotta extend this in like that. And then on to the these posts. Like that. Who's still in? Yep, we're still in. And then maybe, just maybe, I should be grabbing. Where's this gas from here on the tube? We're not spilling gas, are we? I don't know where that is from. From here. This is not on far enough, so it's it's leaking gas. This is not good. It's not good that we're leaking gas like this. What is this? Should be one more of these gaskets. I think that's it, isn't it? There's one back there. Yeah, I think the fitting here is leaking. This is leaking. I wonder if it spilled the whole. <laughs> I only put in like a cup's worth. So this is the part number for the gasket between the air filter and the thing, the auto choke plate. If you use them, um, there's like a thick plate, insulator, there's like a thick uh, metal plate with a rubber gasket around it, but if you're going to do what I'm going to do, you need this gasket. I'm going to put this on like that. I and mean, this can only go on one way, so most of the circle, two thirds of the circle is below the center line. Let's line up. And that was that. That's the gasket. Get rid of the. You never throw anything away while you're working on stuff. You never throw anything away while you're working on stuff. You might end up needing to send something back. So we're going to remount this whole assembly. So we have the gaskets back here. We have the gasket on the other side of that plate. And I think we don't have to take any of this apart anymore. This is... This, I think, is how that goes. So we locked tight those studs in yesterday after we extended them. Everything looks good. Works properly. So we put the vacuum line back on here. And I don't know if this loops through any of these 
holes in the plating. I don't pull this tape. But I'll, I'll be curious if this ends up being the reason why he never had other children. It is snug. It is really snug. Okay, so there's it. There's that. We got the other choke. Oh. What is going on? What am I missing? What am I missing? What am I? I think I messed up somewhere. Okay, so the choke is off when the lever is pushed in. I hope I didn't mess up anything on the auto choke. I hope I didn't mess up anything on the auto choke. See, before it worked, before it worked, for some reason now, I think it's supposed to be on the outside. No clue. No clue what I'm doing. I don't know what this is. It's supposed to be on the outside. Make sure you get all the gaskets in there. So that was my bed. I had it flipped around. The action of that feels different than the original one. Okay, so I'm seeing all the gaskets on either side. It's good. I'm not impeding any airway. I mean, maybe. Oh, I see a problem. Oh, I see a problem. This will have to be cut. It's too long. It's hitting. Yeah. It's hitting. It's hitting up top there, yeah. So we're gonna have to cut this guy. We're gonna have to cut that guy off. Cut it off like what? Quarter inch? Maybe I grab a more sharp end marker. So that. That wire, that wire, can you see it hitting the back of that? Yeah, you can see it hitting the back of that. If I had a sharpie, I would mark it. But in any event, it's too long. This is why you don't always put the lines on. Until we're totally done. Cut a piece out of that. Okay, so I'm gonna go get cut this. So if you, I don't know if you saw that, but this is coming down and it's coming up against the back of that air adapter, that round one. So I'll cut it on the back. Okay, so I cut off about half of it. So we're gonna stick it in there again and see. Make sure I get it on the right side. the carburetor forward oh man oh. 
just need a little burl or something. We like it. We got a little. There we go. Is it on the outside? Is it loose? It's gotta be loose. It's gotta play loose. It's gotta play loose. See? And it's gotta play loose. And then this. Back end stuff. And then we'll, we'll operate it a few times and make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to. <clears throat> Hopefully, I didn't cut it too much. It's protruding through the bottom of the plastic tab. Just the right amount. I guess I could have left a spin room more. So there's nothing impeding the action now of that wire. See, it's barely protruding through it. Pull that. That's your, that's your manual trick. Okay, so we'll leave that off and it's can see how to stretch it. I can show you. Let's see if I can show you. See how the butterfly is totally closed now? All from the vacuum. I'm gonna see if I can show you how it works. I'm gonna suck on the I'm gonna suck on this. I'm gonna suck on here on this vacuum line fitting just like the, the just like the engine would. Okay, so I don't know if you saw that, but it operates really smoothly. Nothing is impeding the action of this. And uh, I'm excited to try it, see what it does. I'm gonna fire it up, see if it fires it up with the auto choke this time instead of us manually choking it. So I'm gonna put the line back on. I should still serve. Okay, so we're gonna do our first test. I think this module was faulty, so hopefully replacing it is gonna be the end of that issue. We're gonna start it. Let's see if it starts on its own. I don't like this gas here. Let me explain. I do not like that gas on the tube. So let's try do a startup and see if the auto choke is fixed because they say that it's never worked. So this is still the factory. It's all in factory configuration and never worked. So here we go. Fire it up. Pull it down so it doesn't jump around. I think they stuck the wires together. There we go. The ignition wires were not stuck together. So then we'll spark. So now the other choke is working. As soon as it started up, it turned the choke off with the back. Beautiful. So we got the other choke working on the choke.
Okay. So he wanted me to set up a choke that was powered by a solenoid with springs, but he didn't know that there was an auto choke that wasn't working. So starts beautifully. This is this is choke and then like it goes. It's close here. Oh, 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 oh my goodness. I think he cut it too short. He cut it too short. He cut it too short and now it's, it's not. Dog, dog, it's coming undone. Oh man, I cut it too short. I cut it too short. <laughs> Oh man, I cut her too short. I don't know what we'll do now. <laughs> I cut her too short and now it's falling out of this, uh, it's falling out of the mechanism. Well, that's not cool. That is not cool in the least. That is just not cool. Well, at least you know that's what the issue is. You know what, that's what the issue is. Yeah, I cut it too short, see? Well, if he complains, I'll have to get a different one. <laughs> I shouldn't have cut it so short. Too bad. I would have barely needed to cut any. So we're we're uh we're leaking gas in here dude, at this phase. We're gonna turn it off and shut it off. This we need to do. Okay, so that's the deal with the auto choke. We got her fixed by replacing it. So I'll show you in the next part, I'll show you the modifications we're doing to this. So the modifications that we're doing uh, for the application that this engine resides in is in a very dusty environment. And uh, this is like in, that's in a machine called a barn boss that's being used in poultry barns. And uh, turkeys in this instance. Sorry about that. So we're, so this is the factory air filter is just a sponge and the engine is rides in this frame of the machine just a few inches from the ground so it's kicking up dust with the exhaust and the uh, dust is kicking up clogs the sponge air filter in, in a matter of just a few days so the modification i want to do with that is you want to go to a air filter style like this and we're going to mount it behind the operator under the seat back there's a big space this is a donaldson kind of like the style you would see on uh, zero turn commercial zero turn you get the bracket you get a mounting bracket you see the, br the bracket is just slipped around it and you got two mounting holes and then you get a rain cap and you also get the rain cap for up top and you also get the hose clamp for fastening the rain cap so there would be the whole completed deal and then this end where your hose from your engine from your intake goes you can turn that any any direction you want so this is a donaldson there's a filter inside the whole you buy the whole thing as a unit if it's something that you're requiring or needing i'll put a link in the description uh, but this is the whole unit is it's all Donaldson, name brand. And so, if you're gonna modify the air intake, then you have to go to something like this round here, this adapter for a round hose. This is the reason we had to extend the studs to use this. It was close to being long enough, maybe an eighth of an inch longer would have worked. I guess if it wouldn't have had this auto 
choke housing on there it would have worked and then on the exhaust instead of this kicking up dust because it's only four inches from the ground in the barn as you're going through the barn we're gonna cut this off put a flex hose and run it up top too so it's not blowing against the ground kicking up dust and then on this side they're gonna box in where the engine draws in the air through the shroud through the flywheel fan they're gonna box in the bottom part of it and the front of it and the sides so that it has to suck air from to up top for cooling the engine because the way that it sits now it's causing all kinds of problems for it so that's the modification we're doing on this rebuild for the barn boss engine and that's a wrap